Hello everyone, welcome to Plus Equal. In this tutorial, that I want to be really short, I will show you how to synchronize Blender and Unity, so in a way you can optimize your workflow, your pipeline, uh, your prototype. So let's jump into Unity right here. So this is a simple default scene from Unity, where I want to read a blend file and put my objects in the scene. So here at the side, I already have a blend file open. And as a usual general blend file, it has the camera, the cube and the light. If I happen to save this and put it inside a folder inside my project. So here I have my scenes folder. If I go into Unity, here is my scenes folder. Let's create another folder here and let's call it Blender Files. Let's double click here. Let me put this a little bigger right here and let's save this as test let's save this file and let's go into unity we will see that after compile we have here a blender file folder if you open up we have the test that is our game object and inside that we have a camera a cube a light and even the material so if i grab this and put it into the scene you can see that we have our exact same cube here and we have the, there the light and the camera. So here is the camera and here is the light. The camera corresponds to what we see in Blender as well. If it happens for me to delete the camera and the light, let's delete this and now we can save our scene again. Let's get back to Unity. And you can see that our camera and our light just disappear. Now our object is just this cube right here. So let's do this again. Let's delete this for now. And let's delete this file right here. And this one. Let's go back to Blender. Let's open up a new general. Just so you follow from the beginning. And let's already delete the light and the camera. Let's save this. Let's put it like cube, or even better, let's write special, uh, let's call it special cube. Let's save the Blender file, and let's go back to Unity. Here we have our special cube. Now, if I grab this into the scene, here is my cube. If I go back to Blender, if I select the object, and if I change to edit mode, I can grab, for example, this vertex right here and let's push it up so it gets really weird. Let's save this again. Let's get back to Unity. Let's wait for it to compile. And there we have it. This is our cube, but now with a different shape, right? And you can do other things as well. If I want, I can change the material of this. So I can put my cube red. So the material is created, if you change to viewport shading you can see that the object is red and if you go back into Unity you can see that our object is also red and more than that you also get the material. So if you get mad because you can change this material right, right here, uh, you can always copy the value, copy material properties and if you want to create a new material by create material, let's call it special cube red mat something really simple and let's paste our properties now we get the red material as well and you can go to your object materials and here you can assign your new material let's put apply and to see if this is working we can change the color for, for another thing right now and you can see in real time that I'm changing the color of the cube. This is very useful if you have more than one material in your object and so on. So guys, thank you a lot for watching. I hope this teach you something that might be very useful. At least I found this very useful for my blockouts and for my prototyping. So thank you for being awesome. I'll see you next time. Thank you a bunch. See you there.